Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening, guys. Hello. Hi, hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Love to hear that. Guys, today is it. Today is finally our last day of this module. After one month of waiting, it is finally our last month. Uh, oh, I lost my our last day, guys. Today we are going to be reviewing our final test, our final exam. And I know that some of you have already completed it. However, we'll still have to do it. El día de ayer estuvimos haciendo el último review del vocabulary que teníamos, que es the school days. And we also did a reading on Ricky Martin for some reason. But we did so. Hicimos el review de eso igualmente. So guys, let's see. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes to um, see who else can join, right? Para que veamos quién más se puede unir. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and put this image up for you because you have earned it. You have earned it. Let's see. Briselda just joined, excellent. Yay, because you've reached the end of this module. Claro que todavía tenemos que hacer nuestro review del final exam, but you did it, guys. You did it, you reached the end of it, and soon you will be taking over um, pre-intermediate one. El nivel pre-intermedio uno, which is so exciting, guys, right? So, as I said, let's just wait for a couple of minutes so that everyone can join. Okay. Let's see. Right now we are six people. Estamos Priselda, Cristian Castro, Cristian Molina, Denny, and Marta. Thank you so much for joining guys to the last day of classes. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. How are you? Fine. Yo tenía una pregunta. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Este, eh, tenía una duda en relación a last y late. Late con ed. ¿Verdad que eso no existe? <laughs> late con ed como así yes ajá uh -huh. no eso no existe no that doesn't exist no okay this is later de tarde es el pasado sería last es que late no es un verbo ah ok es, uh -huh. justamente es un late. adverbio de tiempo yeah Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so for example, you are late or in el pasado you were late, right? Ah, okay, okay. Gracias. Excellent. No problem. Any other questions, guys? Mientras esperamos a ver quién más puede unirse. Do you have any other questions así? No puede, no necesariamente de... Um, los topics que hemos visto, sino de any questions that you have sobre el, um, maybe about English or vocabulary or anything like that. Yes, no, yes, no. Bueno, aprovechando ya que nadie quiere preguntar. Perdón. No problem, go ahead. <laughs> He visto escrito de till, t i l con mm -hmm. una comilla al principio. Aquí. No, con una sola L. 
Ah, sí, till, ya. Yeah. Ajá, eso que como... Es la contracción de until. ¿Verdad que sí? Ah, ya no estaba yeah. tan perdida. Yeah, Bárbara. Ok. Yes. Es ajá, es que until. tenía la duda, ajá. Ok, gracias. Of course. Until 8 p.m. Till 8 p.m. That is correct. All right, guys. So let's just check. Déjenme solo revisar por aquí si alguien más va a unirse. Let's see. Hello, I cannot activate. Da, 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 no problem. Let's see. Okay, all good. Perfect. Okay. So, guys. We are eight people right now. I see Guillermo just joined. Also, Rocio just joined. Perfect. So, today, guys, it is our final day. The final countdown. The final path. The final section. And the final road of this module of Beginners 3 or Principiantes 3, right? Today is our last day of this module. I hope that you feel that you've learned a lot, que sientan ustedes que han aprendido bastante y que, um, well, that you feel in general that uh, you understand, right? The topics, es lo más importante, que los uh, topics que hemos visto, that you understand them, right? And today, para darle cierre a esto, vamos a estar reviewing the final exam. Now, okay, we are nine people now. Let's see who joined. Ale just joined. Perfect. Excellent. We are nine people. Awesome. So, wait. No les estoy compartiendo el final aún, right? You can see this. Let's see. Todavía están viendo el congratulations. <laughs> okay, there you go. We've gone through all of the sections, guys. We've seen section one where we talked about going to and months and dates. I'm so sorry. No es coyo. Um, we've talked about the parts of the body, how to use have plus noun and how to use feel plus adjective. We've talked about um, vocabulary about places and things and how to give uh, directions, right? Como orientar a las personas y darles ubicaciones o direcciones. And we've also learned about uh, statements in the past, las tres pronunciaciones de los verbs que terminan en ed, which is the T sound, the D sound, and the ed sound. And also we've learned about irregular verbs. Now, most recently, hemos estado viendo la section five, which consisted of the past of be and questions and statements with it. The past of be being was or where, right? Y también vimos cómo usar preguntas en el pasado usando el auxiliar did. And that was basically what we learned how to do on section five. Now, let's see. Today, we are going to move on to, al día de ayer vimos el vocabulary about school, and we did this exercise, the reading exercise. Con eso, habíamos terminado la section five successfully. And let's see, we are still nine people. Okay, so it is eight with almost 10 minutes, right? Almost, yeah. So, and today, como nuestro último día, we are going to solve, well, not solve, no resolver, pero sí aclarar lo más posible the final exam. So, yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya lo realizaron, but if you haven't, esto les puede ayudar, o si ya lo hicimos, entonces nos puede ayudar como una recapitulación, right? Como uh, to uh, 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 some sort of recap to remember all that we've learned all through the module, right? Y si surge alguna pregunta at any point, you can let me know and we will try to um, solve it, 
right let's close this let's close this and that's good perfect okay guys so nuestro final exam consists as usual from six parts a b c d e and f the first one being a listening exercise then completing the sentences selecting the best answer out of the options, matching the verbs to the nouns, completing conversations, and a reading exercise, just like the ones uh, we have done in the past, so como el que hicimos ayer, a reading exercise that consists on reading the article and completing the sentences, uh, solving the questions, right? So, we're going to go ahead and start by doing the listening exercise. Now, let me go ahead and close this. There we go. And now, this is exercise A. Nuestro primer ejercicio es un listening exercise. We just have four questions. Solo tenemos cuatro preguntas, guys. Just four questions. Let's go ahead and read the questions. Antes de que escuchemos el listening, let's go ahead and read the questions. Okay, vamos a leer la pregunta y las tres opciones posibles. So, um, no se preocupen, todos vamos a estar leyendo. Estamos poquitos hoy, so nos vamos a tunando all throughout the exercises. All right, so... But right now, let's go ahead and read number one. La pregunta y todas las opciones, right? Let's read number one. Ale. Hola. Hi, Ale. Eh, tengo que decir la respuesta. Sí, la pregunta y las respuestas. Ah, ya, yeah. leerlas. Yes. Okay. Where are Helen and Mark going? A bank and a department, department, sería, a store. Yes, that's A right. bank and a gas station. A gas station and a department store. Excellent, Ale. Thank you so much for reading. Let's read number two. And the possible answer is Briselda. Where is Smith's department store? On Second Street, on the corner on First and Main, on Main between First and Second. Excellent, Brisela. Thank you so much. Let's do number three, Cristian Castro. How do you get there? Go of Park Second to Main. To left. Go down Second to Main. To right. Call up second to main door right. Excellent, Christian. Thank you. And number four, Christian Molina. Um, what is Mark going to buy? A sweatshirt, a tie, a zero. Excellent, Christian. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So now. Hoy sí, vamos a escuchar el listening exercise, and then we are going to go ahead and answer the questions, okay? So, let's go ahead and listen. Déjenme compartirles el audio, si no, no vamos a escuchar. Perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and listen. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. 
Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right, guys. Were you able to understand this conversation? Era la misma conversation in different sections, right? Como continuaciones de la conversation. Were you able to understand? Were there any words that you didn't understand? Nope. All right. Vamos a ver si es cierto entonces. Let's go ahead and solve the question. Let's see. Where are Helen and Mark going, guys? In general, whoever wants to answer. A gas station and a department store. Bank and department store. Bank and that department is correct. Store. They are going to the bank and to the department store. Who is going to the department store? Mark. Excellent. That is correct. And Helen is going to the bank. Right. And are they um, are they going to go walking or are they going to go using the car? Walking. Walking. That is correct. They're going to go walking. Why? Because no have gasoline. That is correct. Because Mark doesn't have gasoline, right? His car is out of gas. Sería lo que diríamos con un lenguaje más casual, right? I'm out of gas. No tengo gasolina. Now, let's see number two. Where is Smith's department store? The corner on the field is on my mm -hmm. Excellent. Very well. Yes. It is in, on the corner of first and main. Excellent. And how do you get there? Well, up second to go on, uh, second to main to right. That is correct. You have to walk up second to main and turn right. All right. Una cosa bien importante um, about the directions in English, guys, es que en la vida real, right, todos se los van a decir con los, um, uh, like the south, the east, the north, the west. Y honestamente nosotros no nos ubicamos así, right? So personalmente fue una de las cosas más difíciles para mí de aprender cómo ubicarme así, like in space. So you have to, algo que les pueden decir es, you have to walk two blocks up north, dos cuadras al norte, y yo, ok, ¿cuál es el norte? Yeah. So, I got lost many times, y terminé pidiendo Uber, but it's an experience. And, all right, guys, number four, what is Mark going to buy, and for him, and for whom, I'm sorry? Sweater. Sweater. That's correct, and for whom? Ty. No, no, it, no. He, he is going to buy a sweater, but for whom? Para quién? His father. That is correct. He's going to buy the sweater for his father. He was going to buy a tie, and Helen said, no, don't buy him a tie. Um, eso es bien importante, guys. ¿Saben ustedes cuándo usar who y cuándo usar whom? No. No. 
No, okay. So es this one this one detallito, right? But it is very important. Okay, so we are going to use whom cuando la respuesta se conteste con to him, to her, right? For example, uh, whom did you buy it for? ¿A quién se lo compraste? Nosotros contestaríamos, I bought it for him. No, ustedes no dirían, I bought it for he. No, for him. Entonces, siempre que la respuesta se conteste así en tercera, en for him, for her, para él, para ella. Um, entonces, vamos a usar whom. Diferente es, uh, who did this? She did, right? She. Ustedes no dirían her did, sino she did. So, cuando la respuesta sea el pronoun normal, así, entonces usamos who, y cuando la respuesta sea el, la tercera persona, which is him or her, or them, podría ser incluso for them. Entonces ahí usamos whom. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Excellent. Cool. Esto no es parte, right, of the uh, module, pero se los quiero dar, pero les puede servir para comprar. Cuando, por si no conocían esa palabra, les puede servir. Si algún día le llegan a ver, ya no se, ya no se van a confundir. All right. Now, in section B, we have a map. We have the same map that we reviewed before. Esto ya lo vimos anteriormente, this map. Let's review it here in a new window. Donde lo podamos ver más grande. Here we go. Actually, let's zoom it a little more. There we go. And uh, we have First Avenue right here, Main Street, across from First Avenue, Park Street, where the park is, uh, Second Avenue, parallel to First Avenue, of course, and Center Street. So, we have here four questions, just four questions. Now, what we have to do here is locate where the store or where the place is. Si nos dice que we have to uh, know where the department store is, we have different options. Que son las palabras que nosotros aprendimos a usar. We can choose from, across from, on, between, next to, or on the corner off. So let's review right here. We have the map right here, right? Y aquí lo podemos ver también en chiquito. So let's go ahead and review. Vamos a leer toda la sentence, please. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our chart here. Veamos, ya leyó Cristian Molina, entonces vamos con... Marta, let's do number one. Okay. The department store is. Digo la respuesta, teacher. Yeah. On Main Street. Excellent. Vamos a ver si es cierto. The department store is on Main Street. That is correct. Thank you, Marta. Now, no estoy poniendo las respuestas porque tampoco se las voy a dejar grabadas, right? Para que lo vean en el video, pero sí lo estamos resolviendo. So, um. Now let's go with number two or 1.1. 1. 1. Um, where is the gas station, uh, Denny? Okay, the gas station in, across from the hospital. Let's see, vamos a ver si es cierto. Gas station across from the hospital. That is correct. <laughs> Excellent job. Sin miedo. Perfect. Hoy sí, number two, porque este le pusieron 1.1 for some reason, but number two, Guillermo Torres. Uh, department store is next to bank, the bank. Perfect. Let's review. Department store is next to the bank. That is correct. City bank. Cuando existía el city. No. Perfect, Guillermo. Let's do number three, Jennifer. 
the, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Excellent. Yes, here's Maria's restaurant. Here's the department store and the city bank is in between. And finally, number four, uh, Nestor. Hello. I'm sorry, todavía estoy sin luz. Y estoy conectado con el teléfono, no leo. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's see. Now, there we go. No? Ok, that's ok. Sí, igual sí, sí, sí escucho que hay bastante problema con la red. That's ok, Nestor, no problem. Ok, guys, so let's just go ahead and do number four. The restaurant is... Where is it? In general, whoever wants to answer. Where is the restaurant? Hello, guys. Where is the restaurant? Maria's restaurant. On Second Avenue. On the corner of the corner. That is correct. On Main Street and Green, uh, no sé por qué no he puesto Green Avenue, pero es la otra vez. No problem. Excellent. Aquí tenemos Main Street. All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead and see now. Uh, I'm sorry, exercise C. Here we have. Uy, there we go okay here we have five questions just five questions guys we have were your parents born in the u.s and we have different um answers right debemos seleccionar la respuesta que tenga más sentido para la pregunta of course we have to choose the best answer the answer that makes the most sense for the question. So guys, let's go ahead and review. Uh, let's see, let's go back and start again. Yo les voy a hacer la pregunta y ustedes me dicen la respuesta que ustedes creen correcta. So, uh, where are your parents born in the US, Ali? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. That is correct, excellent. No, they weren't. Let's see, number two. Where did you grow up, um, Briselda? I grew up in Tokyo. Excellent. We answer with the same verb, perfect. Number three. Who was your first ever English teacher, Marta? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Perfect. That is correct. And when did you come to New York, Cristian Castro? Hello. Hola. 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 There you go. Hi, no problem. I came to New York in night. 1998. Perfect. Yes, that is correct. 1998. Awesome. And number five. How was your first day in the U.S., Cristian Molina? It was a little scary. Perfect. <sighs> that is correct. Excellent. Easy, right? 
Este exercise no es nada fuera de lo común, pero a lo que nos ayuda es a usar la lógica, right? Para que nosotros a la hora que estemos en una conversation respondamos con la misma lógica. Now, for exercise D, we have to match the verbs to the nouns. ¿Cómo así? For example, some verbs you use had, some verbs you use played, some verbs, I'm sorry, some nouns you use had, some nouns you use played, took, went, saw, for example, you don't um, see movies, you watch movies, right? You don't, um, let's see, you don't speak to people, you talk to people, you don't, um, etc., right? You don't do soccer, you play soccer, etc. So let's go ahead and review. Nos quedamos con Cristian Molina, so let's continue with Denny. Uh, you have to choose the best option. So what would you say? Uh, using had, what would be the best noun? Denny? Okay, teacher. Mm, had, um... Uh, uh, swimming? <laughs> no. Try again. Uh, uh, beach? A picnic. See? <laughs> Excellent. That is correct. You had a picnic. Este sí lo vamos a seleccionar porque vamos a review esto después. Excellent, Denny. Thank you. Now, played Guillermo Torres. Play tennis. That is correct. Played tennis. What about took Jennifer? Photos. That is correct. You take photos or in the past you took photos. What about when Nesto? I oh, know Nesto is his connection is not good. Let's go back to the start. Se me desordenó la lista. So let's just go with it. Uh, number four went um, Marta. Um, when swimming. That is correct. You go swimming, or in the past, you went swimming. And saw mm -mm -mm, Ale. A play. That is correct. You see a play, una obra de teatro, right? Or you saw a play in the past. So let's review, guys. You had a picnic. You played tennis. You, there are some sports, ustedes recuerdan que you play, and there are some sports that you do, and there are some sports that you go to. So you can go swimming, can play tennis, you can go hiking, you can go ride a horse, you can play volleyball, you can do uh, Water polo, you can go water polo, you can go skydiving, you can play what? You can play, oh my god, I don't know anything about sports. You can play golf, you know, etc. Eso es parte de la um, experiencia, el, la práctica. Uno va aprendiendo que se usa con cada cosa. Now, for uh, exercise E, this is the fourth section, no, maybe the fifth section of our final exam, we have to complete the conversations. We have three sets of conversations. The name was conversation one and the answer, conversation two and the answer, conversation three and the answer. And we have to select the best option that can go in the blank. La mejor opción que puede ir in the blank. So, 
we had to do that six times. Entonces son como que fueran seis ejercicios, right? So, same thing. Yo lo voy a poner así. And you are going to read the sentence usando el que ustedes creen correcto, right? Lo vamos a leer ya resuelto con el que ustedes creen correcto. So, let me open my list right here. And let's go ahead and start again with the number one, Briselda. Did you have a good weekend? That is correct. Did you have a good weekend? Recordemos que si ya colocamos did, ya conjugamos, so the rest of the verbs go in the present or in infinitive form. Perfect. Let's see the answer. 1.1, 1. 1, um, Cristian Castro. No, really. I studied all the weekend. I studied all weekend. That is correct. The simple past, right? No tenemos un did or didn't I. So we can actually time the verb. Excellent, Cristian. Now let's do a number two, Cristian Molina. Did they anything last weekend? Did they anything last weekend or did they do anything last weekend? Did they do last week, anything in last week? That is correct. Ellos hicieron algo el fin de semana pasado. All right. That is correct. Yes. El did nos indica eh, como Pasando auxiliar que es el pasado. Pasado. That is correct. Perfect. Perfecto. That is correct. I'm so proud. Ya, sabe, ya ven que es que se merecen graduarse de este módulo. Excellent. That is correct. Did they do? Y ya el do ya va como verbo, right? No como auxiliar, sino como verbo principal. Perfect. Did they do anything last weekend? Ellos hicieron algo el fin de semana pasado? That is correct, Cristian. Now, 2.1, let's see the answer. Benny. Um, yes, they went high in the woods. That is correct, yes. They went hiking in the woods, in el bosque, in the woods. Se les ha ido una O de más, pero in the woods. Excellent. Thank you, Benny. Now, let's see number three. Quien va, quien va, quien va, Guillermo. Did she get anything out of the mall? Did she get anything at the mall? That is correct. Ya conjugamos did, so the rest of the verbs go in present or infinitive form. Did she get anything at the mall? Ella compró algo en el centro comercial? And number uh, three, let's see the answer. Uh, Jennifer. No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy anything. But she didn't buy anything. That is correct, Jennifer. Excellent. No vayamos a usar, but she not buy, porque recordemos que siempre debemos usar los auxiliares de did or didn't. So she didn't buy anything. El not no es suficiente, right? Sino que siempre debemos usar did or didn't. So didn't buy. That is correct. She didn't buy anything, unfortunately. And finally, in our last section, section F, we have to read the article and we have to complete the sentences, right? We have, for this exercise, three questions. Solo eso, just three questions. For which we are going to read this paragraph. So let's open it here. Y nos vamos a turnar para leer. So let's see, we are nine people, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No me alcanzan. So, vamos a partir los estos por aquí. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, vamos a comenzar de nuevo. Vamos a empezar a leer hasta donde yo ponga este corazoncito. Ok, hasta ahí vamos a leer. So let's go ahead and start with Marta. Until okay. here. Jerry Carson, um, 16 had a terrible, a it teacher, por favor. Terrible? Terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed at home. Excellent, but he stayed home. Este es uno de los verbos con pronunciation D. So he stayed home. Excellent. Now, let's do until long. No, until... Hasta aquí, hasta locked. Uh, Ale. Eh, sería desde he got up. Yeah. Sí. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. The door locked. was locked. Excellent. Locked. Yes. Perfect. The door was locked. Tenía llave, la puerta. The door was locked. Excellent. Now, this is the key. Let's read until here. A sec. Briselda. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, 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 Jerry had put to it there where. <laughs> Sorry, That's there okay, were no some extra groceries in the basement. Excellent, Brisa. Thank you so much. That's okay. And let's read. Let's see. Okay. Hasta aquí. Ah, uh, 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 Cristian Castro. And he had a place to sleep. He put some cloth from the laundry on the floor and sleep on them. And slept on them, that's correct, and slept. El pasado de sleep. Now, let's do the reading from here up until here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go, Cristian Molina. His parents came on um, Sunday morning and phone Jerry in the basement. We call it Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. Excellent, Christian. Thank you. Called is also a verb con una terminación en D. So we say called. Excellent. And let's finish the reading. Let's finish the reading, uh, Denny. Okay, side here. Father, we come home. Guy, always we're well, just happy. He's right. Thank you very much, said his father. We came home. Recuerden, this came, el pasado de come. Right away, and we're just happy. He's all right. Perfect. All right, guys. So, do you have any questions about this reading? Any vocabulary questions? No? Oh. Okay, no problem. Okay, so let's just do a, a reading of everything in case we have any pronunciation questions. Vamos a leerlo todo de un solo. So, it says the title is Home Alone. Right. And it says Jerry Carson, 16, 
had a, a 16, he, he's 16 years old, right? 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had a food, uh, I'm sorry, luckily Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. We're just happy he's all right. Okay, good. Ahora, vamos a leer the questions and the possible answers, right? Igual que con el primero, vamos a leer las preguntas y las posibles respuestas. Ahorita no las vamos a contestar aún, sino que vamos a read the possible answers. So, let's read number one, Guillermo. Why did Jerry go to the basement? He called to his neighbor to the laundry by Nintendo. Excellent. And why did he go, guys? To the laundry. To the laundry. That is correct. And number two, Jennifer. Where did Jerry sleep? Jerry slept on the floor. Jerry slept on his bed. Jerry slept on the sofa. That is correct. And where did Jerry sleep? Uh, where, where did Jerry sleep? Did he sleep on the floor, on the bed, on or on the sofa? The on the floor. On the floor. Jerry slept on the floor. That is correct. Jerry slept on the floor. And let's see, number three. Uh, 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 it's just get bad dance options. No story mic doesn't work. So let's go ahead and start again. Let's see. Let's start again with Marta, number three. Okay. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because they forgot some time at home. Because a neighbor called them to let them know Jerry was stuck in the basement. Because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parent called in the check of him. Thank you very much, Marta. And why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because Jerry didn't yes. answer the phone when his parents called in check of him. That is correct. Because uh, he didn't answer the phone and when his parents called to check on him. That is correct. Now, guys, let's remember. Um, veo una, uh, un tema eh, que se repite. Yeah, and it is the pronunciation of the verb called in the past. This verb is pronounced called, 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 called. Como que no hubiera e, so called. No called, ni called, sino called, right? Entonces, lo he escuchado varias veces through uh, today, so... Eso sí, bien importante, guys. The pronunciation of this verb is called. Con terminación D. So called. Oh. Excellent. And then, for this word, a la hora de decir esta palabra, lo vamos a decir como que no existiera la W. So answer. 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 Mm -hmm. Es más, es más como answer. Answer. Yes, excellent. That is correct. 
So, because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Perfect. Y enrollamos las R's, guys. Let's roll our R's. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the module, al principio del module, nosotros vimos la pronunciación correcta de la R en inglés, which is el truco que yo les di, la R en inglés en ningún momento toca ninguna parte de su boca. So you say Jerry, ni arriba ni abajo, Jerry, queda flotando la lengua completely. So where Jerry. did Jerry sleep? He slept on the floor. Um, why did Jerry's parents floating return home Sunday morning? En ningún momento la lengua toca ni arriba ni abajo ni ninguna parte de la boca, sino que flota. Eso es un truco para una correcta pronunciación de la R en inglés. So, Jerry. Perfect, guys. And really, that is it. That is our um, our final exam, right? Pretty easy, right? That is it for our, our final assessment, our final exam. And with that, you should be able to receive your diploma, guys. Ahorita puede que se los genere inmediatamente o puede que se los genere un poquito después por cualquier... Um, because a lot of people are finishing the course right now, right? So, si se les tarda un poquito en generarse su diploma, that's normal, it's okay, that's okay, it's normal, pero si se les va a generar. And remember, guys, recuerden que es super, 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 hiper, mega importante that um, you finish the platform today, guys, today, today, today. Si aún estamos un poco atrasados con la platform eh, o no hemos hecho un el final exam, please let's do it today para que no tengamos ningún problema a la hora de inscribir o de preinscribir nuestro siguiente module, which you will go off to pre-intermediate uh, pre one. Uh, so, guys, in order for you to be able to do that, debemos tener terminada la plataforma hoy. Recuerden, en su plataforma dice así. Dice que termina el 26 de diciembre, pero el 26 de diciembre terminan las actividades administrativas, pero nuestra plataforma debe estar terminada el día de hoy. So remember, para no tener ningún problema a la hora de inscribir nuestro siguiente module, uh, you should finish the platform today, ¿ok? All of the exercises and all of the knowledge checks in case you have any questions. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de algún knowledge check or anything like that ahorita that we can review or any questions about any of the previous topics que hemos visto that you would like to review. No. Or any question about anything at all? No. No? Nope. Any questions? Excellent. What about the rest? Nope. All right, cool. So let's nope. just do in the last five minutes that we have in that case, our review of what we learned in this lesson, right? Es muy importante que tengamos todo, todo super clear para que ustedes se vayan super, super, um, Focused and ready for your next module. We learned about the months and dates. So let's review. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Let's review. Yo les voy a decir el mes. En español, ustedes me lo dicen en inglés. All right? I want to hear everyone. So, por favor, no lo busquen, right? Si ustedes están diciendo mm -hmm. que no questions, that everything's clear, a ver si es cierto. So, let's see. We're going to review real quick. All right. So we're going to go in order. So let's review. Um, no, saben que vamos a ver the birthdays. Porque recuerdan que nosotros vimos las fechas, right? For example, today is December 17th of 2020, right? Entonces vamos a decir, what's your birthday? And I'm going to say, for example, my birthday is in February. 
14. Right? So when's your birthday, Briselda? Eh, perdón, no le comprendí la pregunta. <laughs> Sorry. Vamos a decir nuestros birthdays para que ah, veamos okay. si es cierto que comprendemos el formato, como lo decimos. Ok, my birthday is on June 20th y el año es 1990. Or June 20, 20 or June 20. 21st? 20. 20th. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is correct, 20th. Excellent. And when is your birthday? Let's see, Cristian Molina. My birthday is April 21st. Excellent, April 21st. And when's your birthday, Jennifer? My birthday is on February 4th. On February 4th, excellent. And when's your birthday, Ale? My my baby, I me confundí. My birthday is on December 7th. Excellent, December 7th, recently. And when's your birthday, Marta? My birthday is October 12th. October 12th, excellent. And when's your birthday, Guillermo? Hello? Okay, no problem. And when's your birthday, Cristian Castro? My birthday is August 6th. August 6th, okay. And when is your birthday, Denny? My birthday is January, January 23, 1968. 23 or 23rd? 23. Nope. 23. That is correct. 23rd. <laughs> Recordemos que con el says third. So 23rd. Excellent. January 23rd. Excellent. Let's remember. Todo lo que vaya con el número 1, 21st, no todo, pero 21st, el único que no es el 11th, right? Que es 11th. 21st. Um, the 13th. The 23rd. Second. The second, that is correct. Mm -hmm. The second or the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Right? Or the first or the 10th, etc. The fourth. Muy rápido, vas contando. Muy rápido, vas contando. Fue la puta que te quieta, hombre. Oh my God. Escucho todo. Wow. Ya escuchamos, Priscilla. <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys. So, veo que sí comprendemos para poder brindar nuestras fechas o cualquier fecha que sea importante que demos, right? We also reviewed, como dijimos antes, we also reviewed vocabularies about places and things. Eso lo estuvimos practicando hoy con el final exam. And The simple past ED ending lo hemos estado practicando el día de hoy también. So guys, por favor recuerden, una vez más, último recordatorio, por favor terminen su plataforma el día de hoy para que no tengan ningún problema a la hora de pasar a su siguiente module. Ok, so guys, Thank you, Ale. of course, it's been my pleasure being uh, your teacher this module. Espero que tengan mucho, 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 mucho éxito on your next module. And have a good night, guys. This was our last class. Congratulations. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See, you. See you. Bye.